Throwback Thursday. Mercenaries 2. World in Flames. So I'm creating this as part of the uh, tech tips with the real sarcasmo. I'm here in Sandusky, and we're talking about a game that hails its storyline in Caracas, Venezuela. This is going to be a co-op multiplayer setup, and if you downloaded the files from the suggested area, you'll have something that looks somewhat like this in that folder. Your mileage may vary, it may be similar, it may be a little bit different, but pretty much you're going to have a executable once you expand that file that you download, and you're going to want to go ahead and run it. I suggest that you use the default directories when you run this. Choose your language of choice, and make sure that you select Land Server Client by Technogods. That is the secret sauce. This is the default installation information. Just leave it as is. You can look through that if you want, and go ahead and start installing. Even on good computers, this is going to take a little bit because it's unpacking all of the files as any installation does. While this is happening, I suggest that you go ahead and install Zero Tier. Zero Tier is that um, VPN that will allow you to run this uh, with a friend with for anywhere. And you'll see here that it by default installs the games folder on the C directory. You can see the progress here. I'm just going to put this over here. And if we look down here in my tray, we can see that I don't have zero tier running. So I'm just going to go ahead and install it. It may already be installed. Spoiler alert. But I am going to go ahead and install again so you can see what it's like. We go here to zero tier. We can uh, log in. And we can go ahead and choose our operating system. Chances are if you're following my walk through here we're in Windows probably Windows 10 or 11 and that's fine it should work on either go ahead and download and start your zero tier installation it's using a uh, Microsoft installer so we should be fine to install it at the same time as the other one that has its own dedicated install and we're gonna watch this install like watching paint dry and now I haven't sped up some parts of this video, but most of the important parts I've left unsped up because I want you to see the actual time that some of these take, even on a very strong computer like mine. So you can see there it's installing, it's starting at services, it's making the firewall exceptions, and then you go ahead and press finish. Now that we have that installed, we check on our progress here. We're about halfway through. We'll go ahead and make sure that we connect up to the network that we want to connect up. So we have that network ID right there. It's in the clipboard. And there we've joined the network. We know we've joined when we open up zero tier. And we see that network listed. Which I might do in a little bit here. So to recap, download from link in description, extract anywhere you like, install to the default directory. Install zero tier, join zero tier network, yours or mine. If you join mine, you can use my IP that I'll put in description. If you join yours, well, your mileage may vary, that's up to you. You could do local IPs or you could use your own zero tier. On the server machine, you want to get its zero tier IP, and you're going to replace that um, 192.168.0.2 with that zero tier IP that you went ahead and grabbed. So the IP, um, if you're using mine, you're going to use the one that's in the description, and you're going to put that in the client shortcut, which I will show you here shortly. If you're using yours, well, you, you're going to have to figure that out. At this point, I have run the server shortcut on my other machine, and I'm now connecting this machine. You don't need to enter a password, although you will see me enter a password from time to time here, um, because old habits die hard. 
I like to place the server IPs in the comment section as well so that I can keep multiple copies and copy and paste them as needed. So if I'm doing a local IP, it's already there. If I'm doing the zero tier IP, it's already there. So you see the IP that we're going to be replacing right there that comes in there by default. And then if we go down in the comment, we can go ahead and copy and paste our IP. Here you see me use one that I'm not going to have in the description. That's because it's the one that I have on the, this network while um, videoing, but I did update it. So then you're going to go ahead and run the client shortcut. The, the flag for this had to be XP uh, Service Pack 2. Um, in my experience, your mileage may vary. You may find that you don't need it. You might find that you only need uh, SP3 or Vista. This game released during XP, so that's why I chose SP2 because you're not really going to go earlier than that anyways. As you see that it's starting up here, feel free to pause this video in any place where uh, you need to read extra stuff. I may or may not be saying everything that's shown. So, if you have issues, you're going to go ahead and close everything out and then try again. This uh, loader actually modifies the, the host file. That's why you have to be careful about um, how you close out. You want to try to let it close out gracefully if possible. Um, use whatever username you want. You don't need to use a password, but you can. I have found that pressing create the first time and being patient and then trying again um, seems to be the best way to do it. Um, when you try it after that, you can just go ahead and log in. Um, but there is a little bit of a uh, lag time. And for some reason, there's a lot of compression in this video. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened. But... It's one of those things that happens when you video record off the screen that you're doing everything on as well. Um, so here you're going to see we go ahead and join and I'm going to show you what happens if you don't have the compatibility settings set correctly. You notice the loader exited gracefully, told you please come again, so you're good there, but it crashed out. That's because I purposely kept one of the machines at a non-compatible state and one of the machines at a compatible state. And even though they may run when they go to talk to each other they get they get angry they don't like it so you want to make sure to change that and um you'll notice that i didn't put it in xps3 i don't think the first time so i'm trying vista here to show you hey will vista work um i won't spoil it for you boom Now eventually this intro screen stops running. I don't know why that is, but it seemed to always happen. That's fine. I love that intro screen, but I don't mind not watching it every single time. Um, so we'll go ahead and press space to continue. Any time now. We could continue right about now. Sure. I was actually tabbing between computers at this moment, furiously trying to make sure everything's good. <laughs> and this is the little note pointing that out. Um, you want to make sure that both clients are using the same setup if you can. Um, I've done a bunch of the troubleshooting here. You're going to open up any ports that you need to or disable your firewall. Uh, make sure you have zero tier installed. Um, the Real Cosmo Marks 2 network um, is going to be shared in the description and is an easy way to connect up with your friends because I will just go ahead and host that for all of you um, for a while. If it's being used, I'll keep it up. Uh, it's not too much in off my back. I do um, have some issues right now with money coming in, though. So if I do disappear, it's because I couldn't pay my bills. Sarcasm uh, Fan is the second uh, machine that I went ahead and brought up online so that we could you know, show a test here in this video. And you'll see that I go ahead and to, to a connect up. It says that it connected. Then I go ahead and click join game. And once you have the settings correct and both on the same side, you can search for it. You can look at the custom games or you can just do quick join if you guys are the only ones playing. And then you choose your character. For the second character, I chose the girl because my other character is the guy.
and you'll see cool little tips on the loading screens as as normal and here we are in a boat we're on a boat and you know that this is co-op because you see two people in this boat now if you've been trying to do this on your own you've probably seen your character in the boat plenty of times we have two it's because we're awesome and we're trying to help you be awesome as well we're gonna go ahead and drive this boat onto the land and again with all that compression i wish i had seen this a little bit earlier uh but it is what it is I usually have videos with a lot less compression than this. <laughs> I think it's actually partly the video editor that I was using too, but that's a whole nother thing. Um, here you can see that the uh, second player jumps out and we're going to have to uh, switch computers there. In the background, I'm switching computers. Now we have both characters. Now in a moment here, I switch computers in a way that my same input can be used for both characters, so you'll see the move at exactly the same time, which is kind of cool. But um, if you guys haven't seen this before, obviously, uh, we go through the beginning stuff here, and you can see the uh, number two uh, indicator for the co-op uh, other person and the distance as we start to run away. Um, and we will go ahead and test the range on that grenade not quite as far as we had hoped it was so we get a little bit closer here kaboom a little bit more of kaboom here to come with that and that oh he jumped out of the way that can't be oh hey diddly ho and then there's the last one during the last one here we'll go ahead and see if there's a save game we aren't quite at a checkpoint yet so it doesn't look like it wants to let us save the game that is fine uh, i just wanted to check and we'll go ahead and switch to the other character now you can't see that on screen because uh he's literally off screen and it's the other computer that i wasn't recording at the same time if i had thought this through and actually realized that i was going to make a video for you all i would have definitely recorded both screens at the same time you know like a pro um, that being said, I helped someone else connect their game together and was doing a proof of concept here um, before I was going to connect up with them to make sure everything would work. So I was just recording the background um, to kind of troubleshoot and look at look at things and if there was anything I noticed, if there were some failures. That being said, we were able to get it done pretty well. So this is Windows 11. Both machines are running in um, XP SP2. And it's working perfectly. So at this point, I have figured out how to alt tab and create a situation where both characters should move at the same time here in a moment. At least with the keyboard inputs. And there you go. Now you see that they're doing exactly the same thing. And uh, I forget if the mouse works that way too. I didn't even think about that. I just was glad that I could get them to run together. Um, that being said, there's the binoculars and we're gonna go ahead and open up the PDA on the with the other dude maybe or maybe hurt with her i forget um either way here's the proof of concept it's obviously working and at this point we can go ahead and look um if i remember correctly i was looking what's the pda button <laughs> so <laughs> scroll down here and uh there it is f1 completely <laughs> unusual key for me to be pressing in a game like this so i had to look it up there we go so we see it we see what happens when we place a beacon there we look around at the map oh okay cool and then in a moment here we'll go ahead and uh, push one and two to get the stuff selected we can see that we're out of grenades uh, that doesn't really matter all set the game is prompting us and you don't hear audio in the background because yet again i wasn't planning on necessarily um using this as video for you guys but i want to make sure that you guys know that it's possible and um i may even stream this on as well
during one of these game sessions, if anyone else needs help. That being said, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the different options we have. Cool. Uh, we're all okay with all that firepower. And we go ahead and finally listen to her and go, Hey, oh look, satellite guided bomb. Hmm. Imagine that. So we're trying to switch between, see what we can do, and then one of these days, I will go. Hey, Diddly Ho. I forgot all the keys. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I thought about using the controller for this, but I don't know. Any game where I do a lot of aiming, I generally don't. So if you want to see the rest of that sort of stuff, go ahead and watch my streams or play the game yourself. And uh, here you go. Now I am going to do a quick little wrap up here and show you uh, the, the final settings that we ended up using. So you see that it says the game's running, we exit. Now we actually exited that too soon. I did that on purpose. Oh, did I cut that footage? Oh, I might have cut that footage. But here you can see me showing you that it's service pack too. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching.